Today we're going to be taking a look at Jack for Op 5, all the recent changes, and the new best card setup for him for Op 5. I just wanted to start off by showing you the Heroic Jack skin, which you will achieve for reaching rank 20 with the Jackpot, or Jack. is really sweet he's the only one that at a rank 20 will receive a character skin there was a rumor about marcus being able to be got by getting all characters to level 20 uh, that is a lie that person actually hacked to get that skin and is banned for life that is not an available skin at the moment the only heroic skin at the moment is jack but let's get into all the changes and new card setup. So to start off, his passive ability has been changed to teammates deal 50% more damage to stun beam target. So while Jack is stunning and using his zapper on a target, that target will take 50% more damage from any source. Whether it be melee, explosives, bullet, 50% from all sources. If you actually have two jacks that you could have the first zap, uh, well if you have two jacks zapping one target, they both would deal 100% more damage. If you had five jacks, and we actually did this, a five jack master uh, horde, then you would have 250% damage from all the jacks. Which was actually pretty fun to do. But anyway. So he has a couple of new cards. Sacrifice is interesting. But I don't see it being ideal. Dying at a dying as a hijacked unit revives down enemies with a, within a significant range. At level 2 or level 3 it's 15 meters. Level 4 it's 20 meters. But with a good jack, when you, you should be able to like be in a location most often where you can get back after your hijack ends, provided you have on explosive hijack. So sacrifice is nice, and if you don't have rampage yet, I could see putting it on. But ideally, it's not going to make the build. So other things changed, um, he does actually have uh, one change I want to note real quick, which is uh, his HP regain, regen perk was replaced with an ultimate cooldown perk. Jack is now a semi-offensive, he is an actual support character, he's not just there to forge. The vote has been casted and nobody wants to forge anymore, especially after TC has reduced uh, the amount that you get for forging for several weapons significantly significantly reducing the optimizer and increasing the cost of the forge just nobody forges anymore so um, like you go into a game and you see a jack most people don't even build a forge some will ask but yeah really nobody wants to forge so um, it's kind of pointless, but his optimizer card has been reduced from 170 to 150. Further, why nobody wants to forge. Now, there's another thing. I know uh, a lot of people have exploited this, where Jack could heal through walls. Jack no longer can heal and give invincibility to Kate or anybody else through a wall. You can heal somebody when they are in a standard line of sight. And if they go through a wall, the healing beam will remain on them provided you hold it for about 3 seconds. I didn't time it exactly, but after a couple of seconds, if they're not within a line of sight and they go to, like through a solid structure, there's a solid structure between you and them then the healing beam will cancel out. So he does also have this new card, which is very nice, Rampage, giving him bleed damage. 
at level 4, 50% bleed damage, at level 5, 60% deep bleed damage, and I'm assuming level 6 is 70% bleed damage, which would be really sweet, especially when used with a boom shot. Now, there is a slight problem with this card. Not all enemies current, currently bleed, go figure. They released a new card and it doesn't work. But it's still worth putting into the build. The Hammer Burst bleeds, the Enforcer bleeds, Melees bleed, Reject Melees bleed, UV Melees bleed. I mean, no, those are ones you don't want to take over, but the Boom Shot bleeds, the Salvo bleeds. Here's some ones that do not bleed, ones you might not want to take over. The Pouncer does not bleed, the Buzzkill does not bleed, the Oppressor does not bleed. I'm just going to say uh, what else is there. Oh, there is one another. The buzzkill doesn't. Um, there's one more that you would think would, but doesn't. Uh, I think real quick. But uh, yeah, hammer burst claw. Pretty sure the torque. I can't recall the torque ball. But uh, drop shot is still broken as well. The sight just is terrible. So you probably won't be taking that one over. Pretty much all I take over is Enforcer, Law, Boom Shot, Devastator, and Hammer Burst. Those are my good. Well, Mulcher too. The Mulcher does bleed, FYI, which is really sweet. The Mulcher tears, tears up. Really good to take over. The Mulcher, Boom Shot, Law, Hammer Burst, Enforcer are pretty much the best ones you can take over. Did I mention the boom shot? I think I included that in there. That is just a monster, but let's just move on. So, his new best five is explosive hijack, backstab, and you need explosive hijack from where your hijack ends. That target is destroyed, nearby targets are damaged, less important, and you can retreat back to safety. Backstab to extend your hijack. Rampage once you've got it so you can kill faster and extend your hijack. Zapper upgrade so you get your hijack back faster. Mind control expert so you have more life starting off on your hijack. Uh, some strategies to use when using jack is every time you revive, go backwards, like fall back as you activate the beam, as you activate the zapper. If it's in a chaotic situation or you just want to quickly get some extra damage or extra cooldown just zap and pull back go back to them zap and pull back another strategy when you have a solo target and you can just take them out uh, but they're a larger target or you can't finish them off in one beam you'll get the timing down it's like zap for like two seconds then uh, refresh the zapper zap for two seconds refresh the zapper you'll get the timing on it and you can pretty much stun lock every enemy in the game to the point where they can't attack once you have that timing down. Um, I think that is all the changes recently made and the best notes I can think of at the moment. Uh, just to note once again for this build, if you don't already have Rampage, the replacement card would be Sacrifice. If you don't have Rampage or Backstab, then you will be going with healing reach. You still do have a nice little healing reach. And because you can't heal through the walls and make people invincible, you just don't need this card anymore. And that's why I recommend now going with an all offensive lineup. And not putting in sacrifice and putting in zapper upgrade. Because zapper upgrade allows you to get more hijacks. The more hijacks you have, the more fun you can have with jack. On Master, he is now playable to get a lot of kills with the enemies that I mentioned. Uh, hopefully, they fix it soon where all the enemies bleed and some of the other Scions can be fun to take over. Like the Buzzkill, he can probably do a lot of damage with that if that bled. But for the moment, only the ones I mentioned bleed. Uh, the, the Torque Bow might. Uh, actually, the Marks I'm pretty sure does. I didn't do a lot of testing on all of them. I did some testing. I'm trying to recall offhand. Uh, M bar does too. Yeah, the M bar, the marks. Uh, those do too. It's just uh, 
faster rate of fire ones are better and the more damaged ones like the boom shot. But anyway, you can play with it. If there's one I'm missing, I'm sure there is. But uh, just keep in mind, not all the enemies bleed and uh, the ones I mentioned are very good to take over. Take the most powerful one out the group or the wave. And uh, that is all the recent changes for Jack in Op 5 and the new best card setup for him. I hope that helps.